Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. And say hello to my little man, Cassius. He's pretty sleepy right now. I did just wake him up. He's being really cute. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hi? Can you look at it? Can you wave? Hello? So I told you guys on Friday that I would be introducing you to the newest member of my little pet family this week, and that is Cassius. He also goes by Cass or Cash or Cassie, so he has a lot of nicknames. He is very sleepy. He is sleeping on my lap right now. And today we're going to be doing a My Puppy Picks Out My Makeup video. So I introduced you guys to my cats a few months ago with a My Cats Pick Out My Makeup video where you got to meet both Blue and Tilly. But today I really wanted to introduce you guys to little Cassie boy. So he actually helped me pick out my makeup a couple hours ago. That's why he's so tired right now from playing. He got, he's just exhausted from picking it out. But he's going to sit here on my lap. I'll tell you guys a little bit about him. I will put timestamps down below if you want to skip ahead to any spots in this video. Because first, I kind of want to talk to you about Cass, how we got him. And then we'll jump into the portion of the video where he picks out the products. And then at the very end, you guys will see a makeup tutorial. Now, I kind of wanted to do the makeup tutorial first because I had a self-tanning mishap. And it kind of looks like I have a mustache right now. But... Just hang tight, we will put some foundation on it shortly. So to tell you guys a little bit about Cass, he's a nine week old Boston Terrier. He is perfect in every way, I love him so much. He was actually with a different family before we got him. My boyfriend and I have been talking about getting a dog for probably five months now, and we've just, we kind of been looking. And with Cass, he was actually originally with a family that received him as a present and they found out that their son was allergic to dogs so whoa sleepy head you're snoring out loud they found out that their son was allergic to dogs so they could not keep him so we were really lucky to be able to adopt him uh we've had him for almost a week now and i'm sure now that i've woken him up he's going to want to play he basically just has two moods he's either really hyper and wants to run around and just play with everything or he's asleep and he gets tired really easily because he's a puppy and it's so bless you it's so precious. We'll just be out on a walk and we'll be walking him and all of a sudden he'll just stop and lay down like, okay, you can carry me for the rest of the way. Or we'll be um, at, at home, we'll be playing with his toys and all of a sudden he'll just stop playing with the toy, walk over to his bed, lay down and go to sleep and we're like, okay, you're done I guess. So he really is such a sweetie. One thing that I was a little bit nervous about when we did first get him and when we were talking about getting a dog was just kind of how he would interact with the cats. That's something that was really important to us because Blue and Tilly are our babies. They're the love of my life. So I wanted to find a dog that was gonna be a good match. And they both really, really do like Cassius. Blue is a little bit better with him than Tilly. Tilly is still kind of learning how to be a big sister. And Blue likes to play with Cassius a little bit. It's funny because You'll see in the video I actually used their laser pointer to help Cassius uh, pick a product because they like to play, excuse me, he likes to play with their laser pointer as well. So I'll get it out and all three of them will play together. So we joke that he's going to have like a cat personality because he's being raised by cats, but they do all get along. I would say Tilly is more like curious about him. She's like intrigued by him and loves to watch everything he does. Whereas Blue is really sweet, he wants to like be Cass's big brother, and even if Cass will like play with Blue or maybe like jump at him or even like swat him, Blue is so patient, he'll just let him do it and like maybe walk away, like he'll never meow at him or anything, so it's really cute. He really is such a sweetheart. Do you want to say hello one more time, my little sleepy boy? Is there anything you want to say to the camera? Oh, and I want to show you guys his ears, they're so cute. So. Boston Terriers, their ears do stand up, and his one ear right here is mostly up, but it's still, it's not up all the way, so it kind of bends backwards. This one is not up just yet. It still has some work to do, but I think this is so cute because it's halfway up. So now that you've been able to hear a little bit about him, let's go ahead and hop into the clips of him picking out my makeup. So I have a few primers laid out, and he's just itching to get at them. So which one you pick? Oh, oh, can't decide. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay, I got it, I get it, I know, this is your choice. So we have the Becca First Light Primer, he's really into it. I have a feeling I will regret teaching him that makeup is his toy. All right, we are into foundation now. Do you have a pick, Cass? Hey, can you pick one out? Oh, he didn't stay very long, but he did sniff this one. 
Let's give him one more chance. Okay, you wanna try one more time? Ooh. Okay, he's into the wet and wild. I'm gonna have to mix this with a lightning foundation, but this is what he picks. So we have some highlighters laid out and a little man is really excited to pick one out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can't decide, can't decide. I think, wait, wait, oh, 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 oh. Okay, this is the one. Okay, let go, let go. Ofra Blissful. All right, good choice, Cass. All right, so I have the blushes laid out, but my helper has decided that he wants to play with his own toys instead of my makeup, which I appreciate, actually. But do you wanna come over here, bud? Hey, Cash, Cashes, do you wanna come pick one of these out? Yeah, pick one up. Ooh, can't decide, just snipped them all, not sure. Ooh, okay, okay, I got it, I get it, I get it. He picked out and slobbered on a little bit the shade Tinge from Lorac. What are you doing? You bringing your bed over here? I don't think you're supposed to be pulling on your bed. Can you please not do that? Thank you, come here. Pick out, can you help me pick out a bronzer? No, no. Your bed is not food, is it? Someone's mad. Hey, you wanna pick one up? Oh, is this the one that you wanted? No, I just wanna pull on my bed. He picked the 100% Pure Cocoa Bronzer. So I gave him a lot of different options when it comes to eyeliner so he can be as creative as he wants to be. And go ahead, pick one. They're over here. All right, so it looks like he went with the NYX Vivid Bright Liner in the shade Halo. Okay, little man. Go ahead, pick out your favorite eyeshadow palette. Come in, come here. Do you wanna come here and help me pick, please? Okay, because he's not interested, we're gonna bring in the laser pointer. This worked with the cats, and Cash actually really likes chasing this as well. Cash's. Pick one. Can you pick one? Maybe the Blossom palette? Maybe you're about to go to the bathroom. Okay, I think he was, he's been sniffing natural matte for a while, so I think that's what we're gonna go with. So we took a quick potty break. That's why little man has a harness on now. Come here, hey. But now we're gonna pick out a lipstick. So someone got a little tired after he went to the bathroom. So he's sitting on my lap right now. I'm just gonna put these up and see if he sniffs towards one of them. Do any of these interest you, Cash? Hey, Cass. Hey. Are you really gonna take a nap right now? You just have one more to pick. Hey, sleepyhead. Can you pick one of these? Hey. Hey. Can you help me, please? Hey, Cash, you want one of these? Cass? Cassius, can you please wake up and help? Oh, you got a booger. Let me help you. Get the booger. Do you want this one? Maybe this one? Ooh, he did kind of move for this one. We'll put this as a maybe. This one? Or this one? Okay, this is the one you want, buddy? So I think this is the one that he sort of picked, to be honest. I think he was just adjusting and it looked like maybe he picked that, but we're gonna go with it. All right, so now that you've gotten to see him pick out all my products, let's go ahead and hop into the makeup portion of this video. I did change from the intro if you have noticed. And if you guys do hear any noises, I did switch back to my lavalier mic, but Cass is sitting on my lap right now, so if you hear him making any noises, that's what you're hearing. Okay, so he moved and he's like sitting behind me in this chair, and there's not enough room for us to both be sitting like front to back, so I'm like kind of in a weird position because I don't want him to fall off. But first for foundation, oh no, first for primer actually. He picked out the Becca First Light Priming Filter. But this is one of my favorite primers, so that was a great choice, Cass. So for foundation, he picked out the Wen Wild Photo Focus, and I have mine in the shade Cream Beige, which is a little too dark. Actually, it's a lot too dark, so I'm gonna mix that with my Manic Panic Dream Tone Foundation. He's kind of snoring on my lap right now, so if you can hear any of this, I hope you think it's as precious as I do. One thing that I've been doing a lot lately, but I decided not to do right now since he's on my lap, 
is spraying my face with some sort of mist before I start to blend out my foundation. And I feel like that really helps me or helps the product to stay very dewy and to work into the skin better as opposed to sitting on top of my skin. So I realized after I had Cass pick out the products that I forgot to have him pick a concealer. So I'm just gonna go in with my Ulta Full Coverage Concealer. I actually don't have too many concealers going right now so he wouldn't have had a lot to choose from. So little man picked out the one, oh wait, actually I should set my face first. So I told you guys, I did a video recently about my unofficial project pan items and a lot of the items that I'm using in this video I actually featured in that one. But in that video I talked to you guys about the products that I don't actually have in a formal project pan but I'm trying to use up and this was one of them, it's my Cody Airspun. And I'm trying to use this up because it's my last non-cruelty free item. So hopefully I can finish that off shortly. But now back to the bronzer. This is my 100% pure bronzer. This was also in that video. Gaz has powder on his head from that, from when I opened that um, setting powder. I didn't realize. I got some on you. Sorry, little buddy. Okay, so I just put him down. I put him in his bed, which I moved over here. Usually his bed is on the other side of the loft, but lately I've been setting him next to me when I film so that he can kind of watch and he just likes to be near. So for my blush, this is the shade Tinge from Lorac. Now I said that my last non-cruelty free item is my Cody Airspun and that is true, but if you guys are cruelty free, you might know that Lorac kind of has not the most clear cruelty free um, statement. So uh, Lorac is still not a brand that I purchased from, but they're not like, nah, we don't, what am I trying to say here? I wouldn't repurchase anything from Lorac, but I don't have for sure statement that they do test on animals. They're just not clear with their cruelty free status. For my highlighter, Cass wants me to use the shade Blissful from Ofra, which might be a little bit dark for me right now. Uh, maybe not, I'll make it work. All right, moving on to my eyes. Cass picked out the Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette and he wants me to use this with a yellow eyeliner. This eyeliner from NYX. So I've had a couple different thoughts. At first I thought I would just do like a neutral eye and then a yellow winged liner, but I just did a yellow winged liner in my last Get Ready With Me, so I don't necessarily wanna do that. And then I thought maybe I would do like a cut crease and have the yellow cut out the crease. But I did a very similar look on my Instagram recently. I'm just gonna do this while I talk. I'm gonna start off with a lace teddy in the crease. But I did that on my Instagram recently for my color series when I did the color yellow. So I wanna do something different today. So I'm gonna start building up the eye kind of neutral and then I think I think what I'm gonna do with the yellow is draw some polka dots. And I know that seems like a little bit strange and maybe like festival season-esque, but I've seen some really cool eyeshadow looks done with polka dotted liner. So that's kind of what I think I wanna do here. Gonna go in with On Natural in the crease as well. And the brush I'm using is just a 205 from Luxie. Now I'm gonna mix these two together and do the same thing. So here's what I'm thinking. I thought about doing the dots and maybe putting on like some tape and then trying to do winged out dots, but I don't really wanna do that since I did my face first. So what I think I'm gonna do is kind of cheat and I'm gonna use the Sigma liner that Cash didn't pick and I'll do a winged liner with that and then I'm gonna do yellow polka dots on top. These are done now and I'm trying to decide exactly what it is I wanna do with this. I thought about maybe even doing like some dots on the inner corner or maybe even just using the yellow on the inner corner. But now I'm almost thinking, what if I did the yellow on the lower lash line? Is that lame when I was gonna do something really cool like polka dots and I just end up putting it on my lower lash line? I think I'm gonna draw some polka dots underneath the wing. Now this is kind of a baby wing, so there might not be a ton of room for me to do these polka dots, but we'll, we'll try. I don't know if you can even see that on camera, but it looks kind of cool. But I don't wanna stop there. I don't know what else I wanna do without like totally ruining this. 
Maybe I need to go apply my mascara and then reevaluate the look. So I've gone ahead and done my mascara and I did touch up my brows as well and I've decided that I want to bring this yellow in a little bit more and then maybe put it on like under my brow up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the shade Toffee from Anastasia for my gloss. Cass picked out, aside from the yellow liner, he picked out mostly neutrals, so he's, he's a natural kind of guy. But this is the completed look using all products that Cass picked out for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I was so excited to be able to introduce you to my new little guy. We are so lucky and blessed to have him as part of our family. We love him like crazy already. So thank you guys so much for watching. I did just wake a little guy up from his nap so he could say goodbye. He's still very sleepy. Are your eyes even open right now? No. Say thank you. Oh, he can't even keep his head up. Oh, bless you. He can't even keep his head up. I'm gonna set him down on my lap to finish his nap off. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and you wanna see Cass on my channel some more, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern. Bye.